What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to do the walkthrough of my shoot with Liza Soberano and Enrique Hill, released by Vulcan Magazine. I know everyone's been waiting for this one, so finally, here we are. We're doing this. since the shoot came out but um it's been it's been quite hectic and busy but um i'm so happy i'm finally doing this video right now finally doing the walkthrough um we actually started talking about the shoot um back in 2018 when um, they were here for liza's uh, surgery they were here for a while like two yes. or three months um but obviously we couldn't really do that during that time because her she was in a, her finger was in a cast but finally um, the stars aligned um, they're visiting although we were in the middle of the pandemic um, we were able to finally produce this magazine editorial and finally shoot together um, in this setting in a professional setting um, just a little bit of a backstory. I've known Enrique and Liza for a while now, for a few years. Um, on my other side stuff, I do concert productions, production managing, uh, marketing, all that for Filipino shows all over the US, actually the world. We do Canada and sometimes Asia also. We've only really done mostly like behind the scenes, like backstage stuff, uh, we would do sometimes social media stuff for them just for fun. Never really an editorial to this level. I was also planning on doing a Zoom interview during for this walkthrough, uh, but unfortunately it didn't work out with their schedule, so I'm doing this on my own. But don't worry, there's like you've been seeing, there's so much behind the scenes videos. By the way, guys, we are doing a magazine giveaway for this video so watch till the end and we'll tell you how you can win a copy of this Vulcan magazine we're giving away three copies and anywhere in the world you can be in the Philippines you can join um, we'll ship them out out to you also I wanted to say a special thank you to all the Lisken fans all over the world um, since I posted like that behind the scenes photo of them um, helping us carry stuff to go to the location it went viral everything that's every behind the scenes photo that we put out as a teaser has gone viral so we're really thankful for the excitement and the support that you guys have been showing us um, the whole team feels the love the publication loves it and we are just so grateful thank you so much thank you so much Anyways, without further ado, let's get started with the behind the scenes. Floresca and Dolce and Gabbana corset. I love this look on her. It just accentuates her beautiful body and shows up her curves. 
love I love a corset moment, so it turned out so beautiful on her. Liza mentioned that she hasn't shot an editorial, a magazine editorial, in a while, and she's just been doing endorsements and stuff. Like I said, we ha haven't really done this level of professional shoot. So like it was their first time seeing me in this setting as an actual photographer for an editorial. Um, which I know that Enrique would be like making fun of me because he's not used to like we're just used to hanging out, having fun, kinda like joking around with each other. <laughs> he could not get over the fact that I was telling Liza how to pose, I was telling her to do shapes and stuff. So he was getting like like awkward at first. I I know, I knew that he was getting awkward at first. Also, we were shooting probably around four hours before the sun set, so it was still harsh light. And I'm so happy because this is the first shoot that I used the uh, portable strobe light. Um, it's actually just a small, small light, but um, I used a 16-inch 16, 16 beauty dish with a diffuser that we brought. Um, I couldn't really bring any big soft boxes or anything just because I knew we were in a outdoor location. So there's a lot of factors like wind, stuff like that. And I couldn't really bring like heavy sand bags just because it was just us. So I so I decided to do this setup. That's why this is the setup that I used, which I think it worked pretty well for us. Obviously, I wanted to showcase some of the 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 dam in the background just to show, just so Liza can have her BTS moment. But I I only did that for a few looks. So no matter what lens I use, I still end up going back to the 55 portrait lens. Just because, I don't know, it's just my favorite. I love capturing portraits. That rich bokeh. And it just, I, to me, it looks so good. I love it. Okay, look number two for Liza. So I knew I had the flash, the strobe light, the portable strobe light. But I also wanted to try um, doing some direct sunlight with them. I requested for this red outfit um, just because I'm a big fan of Darna. So I requested for this full red look. So for stuff like this, um, there are some outfits that you'll have to find like the angle, the best angle, position. Especially for stuff that is more intended for editorial. Um, obviously, don't be afraid on experimenting on angles, different positions. Also, you can always ask the wardrobe stylist or even the model on their opinion. 
because sometimes maybe you're not seeing something and there you know you, you you do have different visions so uh, don't be afraid to collaborate with your team on what might be the best possible angle or best way to shoot something with this one I kind of just wanted to experiment and do a lot of uh, movements since it's very editorial I wanted like exaggerated facial expressions uh, different kind of like just making her move like even with the sun blocking the sun with her hand all that very dramatic I wanted dramatic I wanted extra I wanted exaggerated editorial so like I said I wanted dramatic faces dramatic expressions which she beautifully delivered especially for the ones uh, on direct sun so I kind of just wanted her like lots lots of closed eyes lots of expression on the face intense emotions closed eyes so for this second look it was pretty quick once we got going from the first look well in most of my shoots with my experience it's always the first look that takes forever just because you're both the model and the photographer are just both still warming up to each other getting in the groove but like the second look I knew Hopi was just like boom 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 we just keep getting all the shots right away um, she was such a natural it was so much fun kind of just doing this having fun experimenting she also mentioned that she liked this look because she likes the shoulder pads okay so um, for the portrait shots on this look obviously you would need her to be looking at the camera and like not blinded by the direct light so we used the diffuser to help her with the direct light so for the third look I think this is the perfect example of clothes that might need the best angle to be photographed on at first I wasn't sure how it was gonna turn out but some of the favorite some of my favorite shots from this shoot is um on this look especially with a wide angle with the whole dam in the background it's just this one actually I love this shot oh my god I it's just like perfect like with the wind blowing this the skirt the, the dress it just looks so beautiful and Lysa with her perfect face perfect perfect expression oh my god this is so good and yeah, like I said, I wanted some shots that are showing the full location. Give her her um, BTS moment. That way she has photos. For the full shots, I also used direct light. But switched midway because um, she was getting teary-eyed from the brightness. Uh, so we switched to strobe with a diffuser midway through this look so at some point the it was getting super windy she was having a hard time opening her eyes because it was super windy she was getting teary-eyed because of the wind um, so that's kind of like some of the elements that you encounter when you're doing an outdoor shoot it's really unexpected you don't know what's gonna happen but I'm so glad we did this outdoor and not studio because we, I just loved how it turned it all turned out okay. look number four it's Enrique Hill it was so cute because while we were doing the solo looks of Liza he was kind of just like chilling on set he was kind of playing with the dog uh, having fun he, he was very chill he was very he was observing obviously he was he was having fun making fun of me shooting Liza um, he was still getting used to the idea of me doing this actual professional shoot with them so the hair okay let me tell you guys so what happened is they he had an appointment um, to do a haircut the day before the shoot but their trip going back to LA from Visalia got delayed um, and they didn't arrive until late 
that uh, the night before the shoot. So that's why his hair was still long and we kind of just had to work with what we had at that time. But you know, I actually don't mind the hair because it gave him a different look um, from what we're used to seeing on him. So anyways, for, the, for his solo layouts, um, I was excited because I, like what I was saying, I met them, I even met Enrique before Liza, years before Liza. Um, we've been friends for a while, working together on tours. We've actually gone all over the US, Canada, um, Australia, Middle East. So it was such a weird but like fun experience to work with him on this level. Also, this was shot in November, so it was, I think it was like 50 degrees outside. Fahrenheit, of course. Um, it was freezing. You know, even if he was in a full suit, it was just like freezing also. Um, I'm just so thankful to both of them that they weren't even complaining. They were just going along with the shoot. It was so, it was so easy to work with them. Yeah. This is, this is a full Kimya Arya suit. Uh, with a Givenchy shirt inside. Okay guys, so I will stop this walkthrough here for now. Um, make sure to subscribe, um, like this video obviously, um, comment, uh, turn on the notification bell. We'll have the two couple layouts and a few more solos from Liza and also a solo from Enrique on the next video. Also, we're doing a magazine giveaway. Um, I actually have three copies to give away. So all you have to do is like this video, subscribe, and comment. Comment on this video. Thank you so much for waiting. I know I made you guys wait for so long for this, but I hope it's worth it. Also, special thanks to Nico for sponsoring um, some of the magazine giveaways. So that would be it for this walkthrough. Uh, again, thank you so much for sticking around with me. I know this took a while. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to give more YouTube content for you guys. Uh, it's been busy, it's been a whirlwind. But here it is. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it was worth the wait. Thank you so much and I will see you on the next one. Pasok sa mask.